what is going on everybody so back in with another video I'm, i've been looking at like my last videos and i don't know if i'm looking in the right spot like i'm trying to like look right here i don't know look guys we've done a ton of tier lists in the past we've done nba team tier lists we've done how many tier lists have we done we've done a couple tier lists on the channel and today i'm looking to add another one for today's video we're going to be ranking every single team's young core so let's get right into it let's not waste any more time man all right so we are here for the tier list as you can see we have s tier young cores a tier b tier c tier and d tier also to clarify my qualification for a young core is every player on an nba team under the age of 25 or like 25 and under so like guys like ben simmons who recently turned 26 they won't count in this video without further ado though let's get right into it we're gonna go in order here so we're gonna start off with the philadelphia 76ers and they have a b tier young core now i know tyrese maxi is a great young player you know he had a really big jump in his points and everything in his entire game this past season but I just feel like he has to show more. You know, if it's just him on the team, you take everybody else. Is that a solidified number one option? Something to me is just saying that's not. Second team, the Washington Wizards. I probably have them as a C tier young core. I'm pretty sure the young core only consists of Johnny Davis, who they recently drafted. And he was a 10th overall pick. So we just kind of got to see what he does. And I like Johnny Davis, but he hasn't stepped foot on an NBA court yet. Oh, they have Daniel Gafford as well, who's a solidified big. I like Daniel Gafford. It's still a C tier young core, however. Oh, uh, the Atlanta Hawks. They're obviously S tier. I mean, you have an all NBA talent. You have an all-NBA point guard in Trey Young. You just traded for DeJounte Murray, who's an all-star guard. You know, I like the Atlanta Hawks. They're, they're a solidified team. Cleveland Cavaliers, my Cleveland Cavaliers. You got the mess here as well. Look, you can call me a homer and everything, but when a young core has two all-stars and then a runner-up in rookie of the year, is that not S tier? All right, Detroit Pistons. For right now, I have them A tier. This will probably go up to S tier after next season. We see the jump that K. Cunningham makes. But for right now, I have them A. Again, I really like Kate Cunningham, but he just played his rookie year. And they drafted Jaden Ivey. We haven't seen him yet. They also drafted, they didn't draft, but they traded for Jalen Duran, another guy we haven't really seen yet. I like Sadiq Bey. He's probably like a tertiary player. However, Detroit basketball is back. I truly believe they have that grit and grind style of play. Dwayne Casey is just a great head coach for them, man. Indiana Pacers, for me, that's a B tier young core. Tyrese Halliburton is a great young point guard. I really like him. But once again, I don't know if he's that scoring type of guy that's going to get you 23 24 25 points per game that you'd like out of your point guards in today's day and age and nick mathurin is currently my pick for rookie of the year i might be spoiling a future video but whatever but still again another player who we have to see step foot on an nba court and actually perform that's 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 d tier the toronto raptors i think they're an at year in court now let me explain scotty barnes is a great player you know he's extremely versatile how good of a player can he really become because I look at Scotty Barnes and he's like a jack of all trades type of guy. I'm going to put them in A for right now. I might change it at the end. Look, I really like Scotty Barnes. I really like OG. The Mavericks, S, they have Luka Doncic. That's all you really need to hear. The Denver Nuggets, their young core consists of Jamal Murray, Bones Highland, uh, Michael Porter Jr. In that case, I'm going to have them B. You know, Jamal Murray hasn't made that all star leap. He could make it next year, but coming off an ACL tear, I don't really expect that. Michael Porter Jr. was the number one player in his class, but back issues kind of derailed that. And he missed most of last season with a spine injury or a back injury, one or the other. Either way, though, we also have to see how he comes along. And then Bones Highland had a solid, you know, pretty good rookie season for um like a 20th overall, 26th overall pick, I believe it was. But so for right now, I'm going to have them be until we see how their, you know, core players come back from injury. Memphis Grizzlies, I think they got to be an S tier uh, young core. John Moran was an all NBA player in his third season. Desmond Bain had a very, very good second year. Uh, Jaron Jackson Jr. was one of the runner ups for defensive player of the year. A great young core there. Minnesota Timberwolves. Carl Anthony Town doesn't fit in this anymore, but they're still an S tier young core strictly because of Anthony Edwards. I truly believe Anthony Edwards will solidify himself as one of the top seven shooting guards in the league next season. I think he's going to take that all star jump, that all NBA jump that a lot of people are expecting to make. The Spurs. The Spurs have a bunch of. They have a bunch of guys, you know. I don't want to say they have anything too, you know, good, but I'll put them in B tier. I feel like that's a good range to have the Spurs. You got Devin Vassell, you got Keldon Johnson, you got Josh Primo. They recently drafted Malachi Branham and uh, Blake Wesley and Jeremy Sochan. B tier, I think, is good for them right now. Uh, the Utah Jazz. Oh, the Jazz are tough, bro, because it's Donovan Mitchell himself, an S tier worthy guy. When I'm comparing him to like John Morant and Luka Doncic and Trey Young, I'm gonna move him down. Clippers. Hey man, I think Zubak is 25 or younger. Yeah, that's a, uh, that's a D tier uh, young core right there, man. Phoenix Suns, Devin Booker is 25 or younger, and they also have Aiden as well. That's an S tier young core. Uh, the Portland Trailblazers. I think I'm gonna have them B, but like one of the top teams in B. I might I might have them over the Sixers young core just because, like, 
Anthony Simons and Tyrus Maxey are on the same playing field. And then you add in Shaden Sharp, who they just recently drafted and such like that. So I'm really, really intrigued to see what the Trailblazers do this year because it's like they made all that talk about wanting the team to fit alongside Damian. And the moves they made weren't really too eye opening, you know. So we'll see what they do this year. The Kings, De'Aaron Fox is still like 24 years old. They got Davion Mitchell. They recently drafted Keegan Murray. I'm going to put them B tier for right now right now they're like at the top of b you know because De'Aaron, again another guy who just hasn't really had that all-star jump that you'd like to see egan murray we haven't seen play davion mitchell we haven't seen too much of so it's hard to really judge those guys maybe after next season we can see them make that a tier jump but for right now i'll have them in b new york knicks rj barrett it's emmanuel quickney it's cam reddish it's mitchell robinson they have a lot of pieces that's still a b tier young quarter me now look i'm gonna get a lot of slander for this i'm already prepared because i already know personally RJ Barrett is cool to me. You know, he hasn't made that leap. John Moran made the third year leap, and Zion Williamson and Darius Garland, you know, where, where has he been? Emmanuel Quickly is a nice pick. You know, he was a, solid, a great pick, obviously, for where he was drafted. But another guy who's like, kind of like that shot chucking, inefficient guard. So I don't really know. Mitch Robinson is really injury prone, cannot stay on the court. And Cam Reddish, we haven't really seen too much of. So the Pelicans, S tier, not really much to say. Zion Williamson, Brandon Ingram, they recently drafted Dyson Daniels. Charlotte Hornets, for right now, I'm gonna put them A. I really like LaMelo Ball. He was a second year All Star, which is crazy. But I mean, it's it's literally only LaMelo Ball. James Booknight hasn't played much. Kai Jones hasn't played much. Mark Williams, they recently drafted, he hasn't played yet. So I mean, like, PJ Washington, I mean, he's a cool piece. And Miles Bridges, we don't know what his future holds. So he might not even be on the team. So I can't even count him in this ranking. So for that reason, I have them A for right now. Houston Rockets. If the Pistons are A, I feel like the Rockets are A. Same thing applies. Jalen Green, I got to see the leap he makes next year. But they got some pieces. You know, Jabari Smith, Um, I feel like it was a great pick for who he was drafted at. Um, Right now, his own ball abilities isn't that good, but that can improve over time. And they got a lot of guys like Alfred Sangoon and Usman Garubu who are like, they're too small to play the five, but like they don't have the shot to play the four. And then question is still out there on Kevin Porter Jr. He was extension eligible this offseason. They didn't offer him one. And I mean, he's had problems on every team he's been on dating back to college. So, and is he even a point guard for real? I mean, I don't know. We got to see. We got to see. The jury's still out on him. The Miami Heat, they're an A-tier uh, young core. Bam out about himself is A. I do want to lower them because Tyler Hero stinks, but I like Bam. So I'm going to I'm gonna leave them A. Chicago Bulls. They might be C, bro. Lonzo Ball is 24. So for that reason, we're going to bump them up to B. You know, Lonzo Ball is a you know, solid young point guard. Pretty good young point guard at that. He just has to stay on the court. Patrick Williams, the jury's still out on him again. I mean, we got to see what he does. He hasn't played much, you know, in the NBA due to injuries. I like Io, but like, how big of a piece is he really? Brooklyn Nets. It's Cam Thomas, and it's like um, Nick Claxton and Kessler Edwards. Oklahoma City Thunder. That's an S-tier young core. I mean, you got Shea, who's, he, he's an all-star. He hasn't made it yet, but he, he's an all-star player. Shed Holmgren, they took with the second overall pick. Josh Giddy, uh, both Jalen Williams. Usman Jang, who they drafted. It's just a bunch of young guys on that team. The Warriors, I might turn a lot of heads on this one. I think the Warriors are honestly a B-tier young core. I'm about to go into Jordan Poole Tyrant. I like Jordan Poole, but we gotta stop overhyping him as a player. Look, I understand how well he played last year, but at the end of the day, he's on a Warriors team with incredible gravity, incredible shooting, incredible playmaking. So, I mean, he kind of has it easy. I seen someone on Twitter say they'd rather pay Jordan Poole over Donovan Mitchell. Like, you, you'd rather what? He's a good player, but he's extremely overhyped in my opinion. Boston Celtics. S tier. The Lakers, Taylor Horn Tucker. I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm not even gonna get into that. I like what the Magic are doing. I'm gonna put them top of A. But right now, again, another team that'll probably propel up to that S tier range. But I mean, you drafted Paulo Bencaro with the number one overall pick, which is an excellent pick. I feel like he pairs up well with Franz Wagner, who had a great rookie season. Dylan Suggs, I'm interested to see the jump he makes next year because I'm not really a big fan of him. I look at him as like a jack of all trades type of guy, but like, what does he really excel at? When you take a point guard with the fifth overall pick, that's expected to be a franchise guy. So we'll see. Personally, I believe Marco Fultz is the best point guard on that team. Who knows if they believe the same. They also got Wendell Carter Jr. who played well last year and Mo Bamba who they gave an extension. They got a nice, you know, assortment of young players. I might honestly bump them up to S, man. But for right now, I'll leave them A. With all that said, this is the list. If you guys have some things you don't like, please leave it down below in the comments. Once again, my name is So. You guys know who I am. I'll catch you guys in the next video, man. Peace. Dang, I haven't done that piece in a long time, man. That felt pretty good.